and it is the will of God that you will receive all of his goodness, all of his gifts, all of his favor, all of his blessings, all of his grace in this season, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. There are levels of favors that God wants us to come into in this season. And I speak to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. That favor comes upon you right now. Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. Welcome to our annual convention, the day four of our annual convention in his presence, hallelujah. It's been a past three days of the reign of the word of God. And I believe that the word of God will accomplish its purpose in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, I'm going to be speaking on the title, Walking in the Fullness of the Blessing. Glory, hallelujah. It is God's will for us to walk in the fullness of his blessings. And we're going to look at our team scripture, which is the gospel according to John chapter 1, verse 16. Now we're going to pray quickly. Father, we thank you for the entrance of your word. It brings light and understanding to the simple. We receive light of your word tonight that will cause us to stand out in this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you glory and praise for our heart is a vital ground and will receive your word and bear forth fruit in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's get right into the word tonight. Amen. We are looking at walking in the blessing of the Lord and we said it is the will of God for us to walk in the fullness of his blessings hallelujah John chapter 1 verse 16 it says and of his fullness have all we receive grace for grace hallelujah everyone everybody is included in this blessing everyone is included everyone is a recipient for the blessing of the Lord out of his fullness. Praise the Lord Jesus. The BBE version says, from his full measure, we have all been given. Hallelujah. The fullness of God's blessing has been given to us. The fullness of God has been given to us and we are, have received it from grace to grace, we have received grace from grace. Hallelujah. The EE version says the word is full of everything that we need. Hallelujah. In the fullness of God, in the word of God, is the fullness of God. And Jesus is the word of God. And this version is telling us that Jesus is full of everything that we need. Jesus is full of everything that you need. Glory. Hallelujah. What a good news tonight. He says, all of us have received from him and we have received one good thing after another. Praise the Lord. He does not run dry. He will never run dry. His supply will never run dry. So you can always count on his fullness. For he says we have received one good thing after another good thing. So be expectant of good things this season. Our God is a God of good things. God wants you to have good things. God wants you to have good things from his fullness. His fullness will never run dry. Hallelujah. Now the NLT version says, from his abundance, from his abundance, uh, King James says, of his fullness. Uh, B.E. -E says, from his, his full measure. And the E.E. -E says, the word is full. NLT says, from his abundance, uh, we have all received one gracious blessing uh, unto another or after another. Hallelujah. 
from his abundance. Abundance is the will of God. Abundance of God belongs to you. Hallelujah. And all that you need, all is in his abundance. And he is excited that we receive from his abundance. Hallelujah. Now the Amplified Version says, For out of his fullness which is his super abundance, which is his over abundance, which is his excessive amount of grace and truth, we have all received grace upon grace, which is spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, favor upon favor, gift, hip upon gift hallelujah i will take that again it says for out of his fullness out of god's fullness which is his super abundance his abundance will never run dry his abundance is for you his abundance is for me and he's saying out of his fullness which is his super abundance which is his over abundance which is his excessive amount of grace and truth we have all received grace upon grace spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing favor upon favor gift heaped upon gift so there are gifts Hit upon gift for you tonight. Hit upon gift. Hit upon gift for you in this season. And it is the will of God that you will receive all of his goodness, all of his gifts, all of his favor, all of his blessings, all of his grace in this season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. And let's look at another uh Another example of that scripture, it says in Romans chapter 15 verse 29, talking about Paul, an example of this abundance of the blessings of God, one who carried the abundance of the blessings of God. We see it in Romans chapter 15 verse 29, it's talking about Paul, talking to, to, the, to the Romans, he said, I am sure that when I come unto you, Hallelujah. I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. This is God's will that we are not just blessed with his fullness, that we just don't receive his fullness, that we become an embodiment of his fullness, that we become an embodiment, we become carriers of his blessing everywhere we go every place with everyone we meet we meet them with the blessing of god and he boldly uh, uh, paul boldly declared to them he says i am sure i am confident it was a declaration of his confidence in the fullness of the blessing of the lord in the fullness of all that god has for you of all that god has for me it was a declaration of his confidence of the super abundance of all that God has for you of the overabundance of the excessive amount of his grace and of his truth and he declared it he said when I come I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel glory be to God this is good news for you this is good news for me hallelujah that God wants us to go out there as carriers of the fullness of his blessings. God is blessing us to be a blessing to our generation in this season. Hallelujah. And I'll read that from the TPT version. It says, I am convinced that when I come to you, I will come part full. Glory. Hallelujah. I will come part full and loaded with the blessings of the anointed one. Glory. Hallelujah. So God wants us to go out there to meet people out there loaded and packed full of his blessings hallelujah glory be to jesus the good news translation says i shall come with a full measure 
not half measure, not a quarter measure. At times we have this measuring scale, uh, scale that when people do their measurement, they reduce the scale. In other words, in order to uh, outplay or outsmart their customers. Uh, but Jesus here in his word is showing us that we are not to go out with such measure, but we are to go out with a full measure of his blessing. Uh, we become uh, the need of his blessing to our generation, the medium of his blessing to our family, the medium of his blessing to the body of Christ, the medium of blessings to men and women out there in the world. Our world truly needs the blessing of God. Hallelujah. Our world truly needs men and women loaded and packed with the blessing of God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And this sounds like what God said to Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12 and verse 2. It says, I will make of thee a great nation, talking to Abraham, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. That is the will of God uh, concerning us. That is the will of God uh, concerning you, that you be a blessing. Hallelujah. And I went on to look at it at, in the Amplified Version. Let's look at it in the Amplified Version. It says, and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you with abundant increase of favors and make your name famous and distinguished and you will be a blessing dispensing good to others glory hallelujah glory hallelujah what a good news this belongs to us today in christ jesus hallelujah today we are dispensers of the good of god to our generation hallelujah today we are loaded with the blessings of god we are loaded with the fullness of the blessings of the lord not to sit at home with it but to take the blessing out and to dispense the blessing because the fullness of God is loaded with good things it's loaded with good things for you loaded with good things for me hallelujah glory be to God I will read it again because this is so mind blowing he says I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you with abundant increase of faith Favors. It is a favor. It says favors. That means there are dimensions of favor that God wants you and I to come into. There are diversities of favors. There are levels of favors. There are all manner of favors that God wants us to come into in this season. And I speak to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. That favor comes upon you right now that you are blessed with abundant increase of favors in the name of Jesus. And he says, let's go ahead. He says, and make your name famous and distinguish and you will be a blessing dispensing good to others through you. People will have a future. Glory. Hallelujah. Through you, people will live. Hallelujah. Through you, people will feed. That is what he's saying. You become a dispenser of good. And that anointing is resting upon you right now. The ability is resting upon you right now. You may say, oh, I don't have anything to help anybody. But I tell you, if you can believe the word of God tonight, and you can receive it tonight, that ability will come upon you. Doors will open for you supernaturally that you will become a dispenser that through you men and women will be blessed through you you can build houses for people hallelujah you can help the destitute hallelujah through you people will lift up their voice and say God we thank you that we met this one we thank you that we met this woman we thank you that we met this man in our lifetime and in our generation hallelujah glory be to God our world needs the blessing our world needs people uh, loaded with the abundance of God's blessing uh, to bring
bring help, uh, to bring relief. Uh, and I'm declaring tonight uh, that you are that one person. Hallelujah. You are that one person. Uh, I say you are that one person. Uh, the ability of God comes upon you uh, that through you, you become a channel. Uh, you become a dispenser of good uh, to your generation. A dispenser of good uh, to mankind uh, that no man, uh, no woman comes in contact with you and leaves the same or goes back the same that you will become that person that will bring joy that will bring help that will bring intervention into the lives of men into the lives of women in the name of Jesus and that is what his fullness of blessing is all about glory hallelujah now I look at it in the NET version it says I will make your name great so that you will exempt exemplify divine blessing. In other words, you can be an example of the blessing. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. It is the will of God for you to be an example of the blessing of God everywhere you go so that when men and women see you, they will lift up their voice and they will give glory and praise to God. Hallelujah. I would like you to declare Declare to yourself, I am an example of divine blessing. Hallelujah. I am an example of the blessing of God spiritually, financially, materially, mentally, all around blessing. I am a blessing to my generation. I am an example. When they are asking, where is, where is it? Who is an example? People will point to me and say, that is an example of the fullness of the blessing of the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory and praise. Now I look at it from the TPT version. It says, I will exceedingly bless and prosper you. Remember, we are talking about the fullness of his blessings. It says, I will exceedingly bless and prosper you and I will make you famous so that you will be a tremendous source of blessing. You will be a tremendous source of blessing blessing, not a source of begging. God has not called you to be a beggar, but a blessing. God has not called you to be a burden, but a blessing that they will see in you. Men and women will see the glory of God upon your life by the reason of what God will begin to do in your life in this season. And they will see and look up to you as a source of blessing in your home in your community, in your environment, in this nation, and in this generation, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I just want to quickly, quickly just define that word fullness. The Greek word for that word fullness is pleroma, hallelujah, pleroma. It means to be filled up. Glory, hallelujah. God wants you to be filled up with his fullness. The fullness of his blessings. It means to be filled up. It means to be full. It means to be complete. It means to be fully furnished. It means to be liberally supplied. That is the will of God for you. And we see such an example in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. He said, my God will liberally supply. In other words, fill to the full your every need according to his riches in glory. Not according to the riches of your government, not according to the riches of your company, not according to the riches of your bank account. He is going to give you, he is going to supply your every need. He is going to fill it to the full. He wants you to walk in the fullness. So he says he will fill you to the full, your every need that you will look around and you will never find any need around you again in the name of Jesus. He says he will fill it to the full not half measure not quarter measure he will fill it to the full 
For example, you have a glass of water and you say, fill it up. You fill it up to the brim. That is what God is saying. No space. All it is is the capacity. It fills the capacity. Now, this of that glass, that is what God is saying. He said, my God will liberally supply, fill to the full, your every need according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. The riches of his glory belongs to you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I will look at that uh, uh, definition of the word of the, of the Greek word uh, fullness again. It means to be filled up. It means to be full. It means to be complete. It means to be fully finished. It means to be liberally supplied. And I would like us to look at an example of God saying to the children of Israel in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 10. And it says, and it shall be when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities. Come on now. Great and goodly cities. Can you imagine getting a gift of a city? Hallelujah. This is what God did for the children of Israel. All of this belongs to us and even more today in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, and goodly cities which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things. Houses are not just a house. God is interested in you having houses. Come on, people, we are talking about the fullness of the blessing of God. And God goes big when he does anything. Hallelujah. He says, and, the, and, and houses, this is the will of God. The houses full of all good things which thou fillest not and wells dig which thou did not dig and vine years and olive trees which thou plantest not when thou shalt have eaten and be full glory hallelujah that is the will of God for you to be full of the blessing spiritually physically financially materially he wants to give you good things and I would like you to open up your heart this season open up your all, all that you've got this season and receive of all of the goodness of God receive all of the grace of God receive from his super abundance because that is his will for your life that is his will for your family that is his will for this generation and who is the best person to carry that fullness other than you hallelujah and that is why the word of God is coming your way this evening it's charging you that you wake up and receive of all of the fullness of God of all the things that he has done the blood of Jesus paid for the blessing so that you can walk in the fullness of the blessing. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having been made a curse for us, for it is written, Christ is everyone that hangeth upon the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles by faith, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit by faith. The blessing has come. It is time to rise up. It is time to wake up and walk in the fullness of that blessing. Glory, hallelujah. Today we know that we are examples of the blessing of God. We are a source of the blessing of God. It is not just enough for us to be blessed, but God wants us to take the fullness of the blessing and go out there. God is looking for men. God is looking for women who are ready to say, Lord, I'm available. I am available available for the fullness of your blessing. Lord, I am ready to make impact out there. I am ready to take the gospel out there. I am ready to take the good news out there. I am ready for men and women uh, to hear this good news of the kingdom. Uh, and so I go out there in the fullness of your blessings. Uh, I go out there in the super abundance of your blessings. Uh, I go out there in the over excessive abundance of your goodness. Uh, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I I'm available. If we have somebody there who is ready, why don't you lift up your voice, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I'm ready. I receive, I receive of your fullness tonight. And I declare in the 
name of Jesus Christ. I will take your abundance out there, the fullness of your blessings out there, and I will be an example. I will be a source of the blessing to my world, to my generation, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, glory, hallelujah. And we come to a close of our evening, uh, of this evening's uh, uh, convention. Glory, hallelujah. And we're going to meet you to tomorrow again, bringing in the word. But I believe that tonight, uh, your life will never remain the same. I believe the ability of God is upon you. The power of God is upon you. The blessing of God is upon you. And you go out there, you take out the fullness of God uh, and make an impact in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you will meet men and women and you do not leave them the same but you will impact them with the fullness of the blessing of the Lord glory hallelujah in the name of Jesus hallelujah